Now, um, there have been numerous talks online, um, different financial analysts, different real estate analysts, different property analysts also, that have talked about um, owning a property versus renting a property. And um, particularly people like us in the real estate space, in the real estate industry, in that developers, um, realtors, agents, um, we um, tend to also um, emphasize the importance of owning a property over renting a property. But based on how everyone sees it, based on the perspective and the perception everyone has about rent, is rent that's so bad? Is renting a place, is you paying a landlord for a space that, that's so bad? Now, um, I'll be looking at it in a different angle and a different perspective. If you are working in Lagos, working somewhere around Lake Face One, um, and you've got a family, married, got kids, the least, the least rent you can pay in that location should be nothing less than five million for a family house. The least rent. Definitely, you are looking at the cap of around like 10 million or 12 million if you are um, staying in a fully detached house. But the least rent you can pay for a family home, for a place that is close to where you work at Lucky Face One, is 5 million. Now, if you want to buy a property in that same location, same proximity to where you work, you are going to spend nothing less than 90 to 120 million for that same property that you are renting at let's say five to seven million now you can see the gap the gap in the difference between owning and renting now the fact is for a lot of people that are working in lagos that are currently renting a place close to where they work they can't buy a place at that same location if your rent is around like maybe 1.5 or 2 million naira in a year if you want to buy a house in that same location, definitely you are going to be spending around 30 or 35 million. If your rent is around like maybe 3 million or 3.5 million, if you want to buy a house in that same location, your rent will be something around 40, 45 million. You can see the gap and difference. Now, if you don't have up to that amount, your rent is 3.5 million and you are staying in Orchid, for example, but you've got maybe 20 or 25 million that means you have to go further to maybe around abiju or awoyaya to build or buy a house now the distance between orchid to maybe your working place in chevron or your working place in ikate is not the same with the distance between awoyaya or abiju to ikate or to chevron now what should people do Okay, we want to stay in a place that is 15, 20 minutes to our place of work because we don't want too much traffic. We want to be productive, we want to be close to our business, we want to be close to where the market is. Now, the reality is Lagos is expensive and Lagos will continue to get more and more expensive. My advice is continue to pay your rent. See, it's because you are earning well and you are living close to that particular market. That's why you are getting that paid very well. The moment you are moving further away from that market, it is going to somehow, somehow affect your earning, affect your lifestyle, affect your income. So the priority is securing that end income that nothing should happen to it. Now, you've got extra 20 million, you've got extra 25 million, you can invest. You can go to Abidjo, you can go to Aoyaya, oh yeah, you can go to Eleko if you like, get the land, build three block of flats, two block of flats, rent it out. As you are paying rent, ensure you also have people that are also paying you rent. At some point, it's going to break even because the rent in Lagos will continue getting more expensive. The 3.5 million that you are paying for rent right now, in four years or five years time, I can guarantee you that rent will move to 5.5 to 6 million. Guaranteed, it will move. So because you also own a place 
and you also you are also collecting rent it means that the money can also be compounded definitely it may not be the same rate that you are collecting for example you have a 25 million naira um, house in abijo and your rent is like maybe 1.5 or 1 million naira the house you are staying in orchid you are paying 3.5 million you can see that it, it doesn't rhyme you are paying 3.5 million rent you are collecting 1.5 million naira rent collect it why because as the rent in orchid is increasing the rental appreciation in orchid is increasing the the same rental appreciation will also be happening to our area or our abijo where you have that same property too eventually eventually you will have to move out of orchid is that just the truth that just eventually you have to move out of orchid but now you have a property that is giving you passive income to fall back to that's the logic that's the idea so rent is, is rent that's so bad if you are still on any income particularly if your end income is tied to lagos you have to rent that's just the truth because you don't want to spend three hours two hours in traffic every day you have to rent but the idea and the important thing is that as you are paying a landlord ensure you also have people that are also paying you the concept is not to pay someone you are always, always going to pay someone in life pay your landlord pay for his space or whatever but ensure you also have a place that you're also collecting rent as you are paying six million or five million in lucky face one for rent you too have a property maybe a bidu or some good do where you are also collecting your rent as you are paying three million or two point five million in some good do you should ensure that you have a property in maybe a bear or a leco that you can also put out for rent and also be getting rental value from it that's the important thing because where you are staying right now has a big effect on your income you just want to move away from where you are right now because you want to become a landlord and it's going to affect your end income that's just the idea so i know um it's a very very controversial topic and everyone will have their different pers perspective and perception about this which i'm very open to i'm very open to hear your own understanding about rent about becoming a landlord about owning your own space yeah and owning your own place so you can definitely share your own perspective with us drop a comment about that you can um both share our opinions eventually and you can also learn from from each other i'm always open to that i'm always open-minded about what you feel about some of the topics that i talk here so i see me on the party on the planet your party advisor party consultant rabbi mustafa thanks once again for watching our videos thanks once again for following us for the feedbacks for the comments the encouragement i appreciate you guys a lot and do always uh, share our videos try to share our videos share it on your facebook share it on your whatsapp share it with your friends as, as just to boost our views to boost our subscribers i appreciate that so much thanks i see you next time